This is every single product I use to go from this to this in like 15 minutes. I like to call it my full face of 15 minute makeup because it gives full face. It's giving, I sat here and beat the face down. But did it take longer than 10 minutes? No. It's also not light coverage. I'm sorry, I'm a girly with hyperpigmentation. I can't just put a tinted moisturizer on and go. It's easy. It's 15 minutes, but it's also full-ish coverage, right? Without feeling like caved on the face. I could actually take a nap in this. So if you're looking for something to cover up your hyperpigmentation, any acne scars, or redness, this is going to be for you. This is everything I use. Sit down, get your pens and paper ready because I'm giving you all the tea. If y'all wanna know how I use them, I'm not gonna be going through that. <laughs> it's just too much. You can let me know and I'll do like an actual like tutorial. Yes, it's the products, but the technique is also important. This is a mix of high-end, drugstore, middle of the road. My collection is, I can hold it in one hand. I feel like not many people can do that. Say that, I don't know. But let's get right into it. I'm gonna have all the products linked down below, but don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Now let's get into it. First we're gonna do skin prep. Let's put our hair back. I love having long hair, but it gets in the way 24 seven. <laughs> Just so nothing gets in the way. I didn't do my hair today which is unfortunate, it's okay. Now let's prime the face. And are we using primer to prime the face? No, we're using skincare to prime the face. I always go in with my skincare first and then I put on my primer. As you can see, the girl has so much hyperpigmentation and I have like, I actually have bumps right now. So I'm going in with our first product of the day, Good Molecules Discoloration Serum and the CeraVe Retinol Resurfacing Serum. As well as since it's winter, I'm gonna go in with a moisturizer. This one's Good Molecules, you can use whichever one you want. Why these products, mm, I just know they work. <laughs> they just work and they keep bumps off my face when I use them. Obviously, do not using them. But <laughs> when they do, they keep bumps off my face. Gotta let the skincare soak in. We're gonna wait a few seconds. I feel like letting it marinate on your face does something. It doesn't. But we're just gonna wait a few seconds before we go in with our primer. I use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with niacinamide, the red one. The blue one is also very good. Let's talk about the alphademic. Let's talk about while my skincare is drying. Drugstore versus luxury. Before I started doing my makeup, religiously, I was like, drugstore? store is the same exact thing. I still think I believe that, but there are just some products that work so good. And if you spend the 40 bucks, honestly, it's all about skill. I think that when you have the expensive products, some of it is like the skill is already done for you, <laughs> but it really just depends on the brand. What I use for my daily everyday makeup is a mix of like drugstore, but like also luxury products. I just find what works for me and my skin. Now we're going into base products. This is my favorite part. This is where it comes together. And I feel like in this step, people use way too many products. Fill out. All I have is a foundation, a concealer, and a blush. And if I'm feeling funky, I'll go in with a contour. Everything else, cut it down. We don't need it. All the complexion products I have are medium to full coverage. So <laughs> if you're looking for something lightweight, it may not be for you, but I love using medium to full coverage products and then not use Using a bunch of it, like using a little bit of it so it feels lightweight, that gives me the coverage. Like if you have redness, if you have hyperpigmentation like I do, it covers everything, but it still doesn't feel like caked on your face. Like this routine that I'm about to do is not gonna feel caked on your face. The concealer I love and will give my firstborn child when she's born is the Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced. And yeah, like literally on this bottle it says super coverage. It really just depends on the day. Today I used a lot, <laughs> but some days I could literally just use one dot. Depending on the day, next I'll go in with contour, and if not, I'll skip one to my foundation. But for my contour right now, I'm using Elf Halo Glow. I saw this in Target one day, and I was like, oh my god, why do they have this in Target? And I was like, oh my god, Elf is drugstore. <laughs> like for some reason, I think Elf is like luxury. I don't know why. Oh my god, I'm gonna mess up if I don't look in the mirror. But yeah, I started underpainting with my concealer just because I think I, I bought the wrong concealer shade, so that's why I underpainted. On a normal day, I can get this routine done in like 10 to 15 minutes. Today is not a normal day. <laughs> Today is not a normal day. It's already looking good. Honestly, if my skin wasn't so discolored, I would walk out like this. But the girl needs foundation. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. As you can see, I love the heck out of this girl. This I use, but sparingly. I think this is their NARS's most full coverage foundation. So I'll literally use two or three pumps for my whole face and I just make it stretch. We want the skin to be glowing, we want it to be fresh, we don't want it to feel caked on. Because if you use too much foundation, then you have to like keep using more foundation, you have to use more 
you and cover that up and you have to use more powder to cover that it's just too much okay yeah i used to load up my face with this foundation it's really not necessary just because you have the full coverage products you don't have to like blow it out of proportion you know what i'm saying like you can chill and you can use them like you would lightweight product just giving you more coverage what do i need to do what else do i use oh blush all right, Pete, I ran out of my Rare Beauty blush and I need to go back in store to get it. I'm just scared to go in Sephora because, honestly, I may just order it to my house because I'm scared to go in Sephora because every time I've gone to Sephora, there has never been Rare Beauty blush. Especially not in the color that I want it to be in. It'd be in whatever color they want it to be in, okay? But right now, I'm using the NYX Sweet Cheeks. This is another drugstore baddie. It's so pigmented. It's too pigmented. It's very pigmented. Don't use a lot. I don't, don't use a lot, okay? I'm warning you, when you get this, do not use a lot. But I have this one in Showgirl, it's like a berry, and then I also have their orange one. Super cute, both of them great. Pigmented, pigment, okay? Like I just got it on my face and that's how much I'm using. Be careful. Truthfully, I should have underpainted with this. Jesus. It's giving. If your blush is not dramatic, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Just take it off. I'm starting a new job today, and I know they're gonna be like, wow, she's so extra. Not her coming in with a whole full face. And I'll be like, jokes on you, this took me 50 minutes. This isn't even my fullest face. Just wait till we have an event, you'll see my fullest face, okay? Now let's go into our powders. I bet you can't guess what powder I use. I bet you could. Laura Mercier. I'm gonna be honest, this was one of the ones where I didn't believe the hype. The hype is real. This is one where I would go and buy. I mean, the drugstore alternatives, they're good, but this one is just so much better. It's just spend it for bucks, man. Or get somebody else to spend it for you, really. That's how you do it. Why did my voice go so low? Who do I think I am? After I set the places that I want like highlighted with the Laura Mercier, we use just any old regular finishing powder. This one's from Ulta Beauty. Like you can really see the high and the low going on. It's luxury, then drugstore, then luxury, then drugstore. It's really whatever I pick up that day. This is fully some random stuff that I got from the beauty supply store. I need to upgrade my bronzer. So if you guys have any powder bronzer recommendations, I know the Uvius Place one is pretty good. That's all the powder I use. Now let's go on to finishing touches. These are like, you can do them or you cannot. I Half the time I forget to do all of these, but I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. Highlighter, it's a little bit for the nose, Essence, Pure Nude, Sunlighter, they call it a sunlighter. And all I do is a little exclamation point. What else, what else do I use? Like literally I forget these parts half the time. Um, Oh, if you're extra like me, I do eyeliner. I just use random stamp liners from Amazon. But if you're looking for a really, 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 really good eyeliner, get the Urban Decay 24-7 inks. Oh, when I tell you, I'm really, really bad at doing a straight line, hence why I use the stamps. This makes life so easy. It's easy. It's literally a paintbrush and it has like grip so you can hold it like a pencil. Like this is my most recommended product. If you're gonna buy anything from this, this is my most recommend, recommendation? No, recommended product. <laughs> I just messed up, I just blinked. Freak! Okay, it's a little crooked, but I'm really not about to fix it. And then last, but absolutely not least, we always set our makeup. We did all that powder and all that stuff. We gotta set the makeup with the setting spray that I cannot find right now. What the heck? Oh! Just kidding. Use mascara. Right now I'm using, right now I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. It's good, it works. My last finishing touch is a lip liner. Ouch, that hurt, I need to sharpen this. Digging wood straight into my skin, the heck? The liner I'm using right now is, the liner I'm using right now is from Kiss. Where did I get this? Where does Kiss, maybe the beauty, honestly this is probably the beauty supply store too. I just was, sometimes I just go around and like, try them out, but this one was so pretty. So, ooh my goodness, I look so pretty. And then last but not least, we spray with setting spray. I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Been a constant fave. This is, right now I'm using the matte one, but I really like the dewy one too in the yellow bottle. It's all up to preference. Really drown yourself in it. Really let yourself drown and have to come up for air. And you know, that's it, that's all. Usually I'll end up, oh, I'll have, I need to find my gloss. I wanna say somebody stole, but actually I think I just lost it. My lip gloss. Ooh, look at that, how cute. Which is so depressing, actually. Um, it was a Fenty Heat cho hot chocolate. 
lip gloss so if you know where that is please contact me in the time being i'm using like a dollar 99 lip gloss but I do love a plumbing gloss, honestly. And that is every product I use in my 15 minute routine. And I don't think it's that many products. I feel like everybody uses like 10 different like foundations and like 15 different like liners. Like, no, no, I don't have time for that. Just one product, please, for each step. One product for each step, please. These are the end results. Let me know if you like them. And if you don't, don't tell me. Or do. I don't know. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. If you didn't like it and you're like, oh my god, she's so ugly, like, oh. That wouldn't be deeply mortifying. I didn't do my hair today, so I keep messing with it. Oh, and let me know if there are any products that you want me to try. I'm so down to trying new makeup products, but so if you guys have suggestions, recommendations, I'd love to try them. And yeah, subscribe for more. Bye, besties. Oh, I'm hungry. Like, I'm actually starving. Will I have time to get food before having to go to work? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. People want money from me. Uh-oh. I don't exist. I don't exist. I don't exist.